So I'm new to this whole faceless video trend thing online, but I was really curious to see how much that I could do. So I used a couple AI tools and I was actually able to grow a YouTube channel to over 1,000 subscribers and 150,000 views in less than one month. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it step by step, what tools I used. The links are gonna be in the description. I'm gonna just stop talking here. Let's jump into things. And so here's the channel for a little bit of proof in case you're skeptical. And I don't blame you for being skeptical because this is a, a huge claim. Thousand subscribers, faceless videos, less than 30 days. Uh, but you can see these videos are doing 13,000, 11,000, uh, thousands and thousands of views. And here's the back end as well. So the very first video that I published was March 18th of last month. And then you can see today is April 14th. Uh, so it still hasn't even been one month. I'm up to 147,000 views, uh, 1,081 subscribers. And I'll just show you even a little bit more of where the views came from. So all of the videos on this channel are shorts, by the way. There are no long form videos on this channel. Everything is 100% created uh, with YouTube shorts, faceless videos, leveraging entirely AI tools. And so there are four tools that I actually use to do this. Firstly, it's Syllabine. Uh, so this is my tool. If you've been following my channel, this is my AI startup. It shows you topics. It creates video scripts for you. So a lot of the topics and video scripts are used in Syllabine. We also have a completely free Google Chrome extension called YouTube Summarizer. I use this to take some of the transcripts from other videos uh, that performed really well on faceless videos, similar channels. Asa.ai, this is the tool that actually is going to make the entire videos for you. All of these faceless videos, uh, it, it's it's like magic, it's pretty crazy. And ChatGPT as well. So let me show you step-by-step step exactly how I used each one of these tools to make this channel happen. So firstly, I just kind of was stumbling across these types of videos as I was fascinated by them. I love ancient Egypt, I love ancient history like Rome and, and all that stuff. And so I was noticing shorts on here, like 24 million, like eight crazy ancient Egyptian facts, 24 million there. Here's another one, right? Crazy facts about Queen Cleopatra, 16 million views. These videos are absolutely crushing it online. And so here's exactly what I did. I went to one of these YouTube shorts and a quick little hack here. If you just remove or switch shorts in the URL to video, and then with the free Chrome extension, you can actually grab the entire transcript. And then I'm coming over here to chat GPT. This is my ancient Egypt script writing chat GPT. Uh, so I'm essentially taking some of the proven top performing winning scripts. And I'm pasting it in here, asking ChatGPT to rewrite that proven winning script. Outside of the videos that are already performing exceptionally well, I'm using syllabi to find really good ideas too. So I can type in ancient Egypt. And again, you can make videos in any, uh, faceless videos like this in any niche. I chose ancient Egypt because I sort of wanted to prove the concept. These were videos that were already crushing it online, but you can do this for anything, anything that your business is doing, any type of, uh, of history your educational information. This is just one example that I wanted to roll with. So you can see here in syllabi, for instance, we have all of these questions that people are searching for. When did e ancient Egypt start and end? How did ancient Egypt build the pyramids? And so you can take on one of these topics here and you can click on AI script assistant here, choose any language that you want. And in just a couple seconds, it's going to generate the entire video script for you. Now, what I highly recommend is AB testing chat GPT versus syllabi. Because syllabi, again, full transparency, this is my tool. So I'm going to hype it up a little bit. It's based on real search data as well. So ChatGPT is a little bit older information. But syllabi is actually pulling in real questions of real topics that people are searching for as of right now. So you can use that to your advantage to create content around what people are actively searching for. This is going to drive you way more views. Now, where this all comes together is actually Asa. So Asa is a really cool tool that basically makes the videos for you. And let me show you some examples of what they look like, right? So, so these are some of the ones that I've created using Asa. And this is awesome. So it creates the individual images. It adds the voiceover, it adds the subtitles, and it adds the trans issues. The truth about Cleopatra? Despite popular belief, Cleopatra was not Egyptian, but Greek. She was the descendant of Alexander the Great's General Ptolemy. She was extremely smart and powerful. So literally all you need to do is come over here to create you can choose any one of these voices that sounds good for you. 
and you can sample them all here. Making influence accessible. Making influence accessible to everyone. I like Tyreek. You can choose the style of the images that's created. I have mine default set to hyper-realism, so it's creating realistic images. You can choose the subtitle font. There's a bunch of different options of, of how you want it to look here. You can choose the video pacing as well. So depending on how fast you want them to talk and the sort of pacing between one image to the next image. And then just paste in those video scripts here, either from ChatGPT or from Syllabi, and click on Create Video. Now it's going to process here, it takes between 6 and 10 minutes uh, for videos to process. But as you can see, I have been doing this over and over and over again. So as you'll see back here, I actually started to notice some trends as well. So I was testing topics from Syllabi, I was testing already proven winning topics from YouTube and sort of recreating them using ASA. What I really noticed that works here is a series oriented content. So all of these part threes, so we can see wicked facts about ancient Egyptians, part three, uh, five crazy facts about Queen Cleopatra, part three. There's three videos like that, right? Wicked facts about ancient Egyptians. That's part two. And I've also been using hashtags in the titles. This one I didn't, but the other ones I did. So five crazy facts uh, about Cle Queen Cleopatra, part three, hashtag, history, hashtag shorts, hashtag Cleopatra. And this has been the entire format. I've literally just been using ASA created videos. When it's finished completing, I will just download it, upload it onto YouTube from either desktop mode or on my phone if I want to just download it and, and post it on, paste it on the go. And they typically aren't hitting on the same day either. So we can see here that this video actually took a little bit of time here for it to actually explode, right? This is day two. So day one, it did okay, did a couple hundred views. And then by day two, it jumped up to 10,000 views, right? It's doing okay here. It's doing like 300 views a, a day. It looks like it's sort of popping right now a little bit. So we'll see what happens to this one. But these shorts are actually performing really well. I mean, the average view duration on this is 102%. And this one video alone has gotten 133 subscribers. And so there's some subtleties that are really going to help you get the best results from this actual process. When you're using a tool like ChatGPT, for instance, you have to sort of give it that be those best practices to hold the viewer's attention throughout. So for instance, I, I have these different series, right? I need another video about five crazy facts about Cleopatra part four. And then I say in here, you know, the facts should be original and ones that you haven't shared before in this thread. And so I've trained it to have this sort of perfect script here, right? Fact one, it says something interesting and sort of hooks people in. And then what I'm actually doing here back in ASA is I'm pasting that in here, but I'm editing it a little bit as well. And so I am taking out these individual facts here like this. And so this is the actual script that I'm going to paste in here and then click on create video. And here's the actual video that we just created. Scrolling if you think all ancient wonders were made by aliens. Wondering how did ancient Egypt build the pyramids without modern technology? Well, it wasn't extraterrestrial help. It was sheer human ingenuity. Think about it. This video used to take people hours, if not days to create from scratch. But now you can do this in less than 10 minutes. And so here's the deal. If you want more tools and strategies like this, I actually joined forces with two other AI tool content creators to put together a private AI community on school. The link is gonna be in the description. It's 20 bucks a month, full disclosure, but we tried to make it a no brainer price. You instantly get access to four courses in there. One is how to make AI faceless videos and actually monetize it. I have an affiliate marketing course in there. I have an SEO course in there and we're going live every single weekend on Sundays, answering all of your questions, deep diving into stuff. If you're interested, come join us. And so you might be asking yourself, well, Austin, isn't this contributing to spam internet content, just unlimited AI content that's not actually quality because it's not created by a real human. Well, you saw that audience view duration, right? Over 100%. And it's high on every single video that gets put out. So I raise you this question and I, I, I find myself thinking about this a lot as I create a lot of content in the AI space and have an AI tool startup that helps people create videos. If the information still helps people. What you get out of that video is still value. It's still information that you can take and apply in your everyday life. You learn something interesting. It's factual. It's entertaining. 
Does it really matter if it was created by AI or if it was created by a human? If the idea behind the video that's being put out was created by a human and somebody uses all of these AI tools to create AI content, is it really that bad? I don't know. This is going to be a fun experiment though to see where this is going. I can create a hundred videos like this per day now using these AI tools. And so can you. Where is this going to take the internet though? I don't know.